this time of year schedules are so crazy and it can be so so easy to find ourselves driving through a drive through just for the sake of getting people fed. Today I'm going to show you how to make the fastest ever, best ever tomato soup. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So today is Table Tuesday and for those of you that watched my intro to Vlogmas video, you know that that is always going to be a recipe, a simple recipe because let's face it, this time of year we don't have time for extravagant meals and all of that stuff. Let's save that until January. But um, just really easy recipes that you can put on the table fast that your whole family is going to love, even picky kiddos. I get it. Um, and so today I'm going to show you how to make the fastest, bestest, according to my kids, um, tomato bisque. Super easy, very few ingredients, all pretty much natural ingredients. Um, for those of you that are kind of trying to watch what you eat, this is a very healthy soup and takes 20 minutes. So let me spin around and I will show you guys um, how to make this. First off, what I have in here is um, I just put a little bit of avocado oil in the bottom of my pan and then um, I added my carrots, celery, and um, onion in here. I have three carrots, three celery stalks, and half of an onion. And I just chopped those up in my chopper. Piper really wants you guys to know that she is here. And so I just chopped those up in my chopper. I like doing it um, that way versus cutting it with a knife. Um, number one, it's just faster. And number two is I feel like it purees a little bit better later on um, when we get out the immersion blender. So this is just going to cook here for a couple minutes. And then we will add in our tomatoes uh, tomato paste, broth, and seasoning. One of the things I wanted to show you with the tomato paste that has been a total game changer for me, and I'm sure I'm the last one to figure this out, but tomato paste in a tube. This has been so awesome um, because I don't know about you guys, but for me, whenever a recipe calls for tomato paste, it's like two tablespoons and then I have the whole rest of the can to figure out what to do or to put it in a container only to be used like almost never. So for me, it um, has just made it a lot easier. So the next thing that I'm going to add are the tomatoes. And so you're gonna have two cans of diced tomatoes and you just dump right in there. And then just mix all of that together. And then your two tablespoons of tomato paste. Which, here you go, this is the awesome part. It's like one, two, and we're done. So mix all of that in there together. And then you're gonna add your oregano and dried basil. You're gonna have um, one teaspoon of oregano. I'll just add that in there. And then a teaspoon and a half of basil. get everything coated and now you are going to add your um, chicken stock so this is four cups of chicken stock And 
just gonna mix that. And then you're just gonna let this sit for a couple of minutes until it comes to a boil. So I'm gonna wanna turn my heat up. And once that's boiling, we will come back and move on to the next step. So now that our soup is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that down just a little bit. And what we are going to do is get out our immersion blender. I just have um, this KitchenAid immersion stick. And what I'm gonna do is just go through here and puree it a little bit. Now, this is obviously um, individual preference. If you um, like chunkier soup, this is probably not something that you are gonna want to do. Um, my kids personally like it um, smoother. And so this is what works best for us. But again, if you're looking for kind of a more hearty soup, then you would just leave it as is. Now I have all of the kind of bigger chunks of tomato, um, much smaller. So what I'm gonna do next is make the roux and what you need for that is a half stick of butter. And you're gonna wanna put that in a separate pot. And so get that in there, turn that heat down just a little bit. We're gonna let that melt. All right, so that is pretty much melted. And now what we're gonna do is add in our half a cup of flour. And you're gonna wanna make sure that your heat is fairly low, otherwise you run the risk of um, burning this, which we don't wanna do. And you just wanna constantly stir this and you can see this is kind of a thick um, paste, or at least that's what you want it to become. And once it looks about like this, you are going to add in one ladle of your um, soup. So we're just gonna take a, soup, a ladle full of our soup and stick it in there. And then we're just gonna stir that around and it's gonna start to thicken just like this and become like a paste. See there, you kind of have like a Play-Doh consistency. And then you're just gonna add one or two more scoops of your soup into the roux and mix that all around. Just kind of thicken that up. And then once it looks about like oatmeal, you are going to pour that into your original soup pan. And then you're just gonna mix all of that together. And what this is gonna do is um, just thicken up your entire your entire soup. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. And then as you can see, this has just really thickened our soup to make it kind of that bisque texture. The next thing that we're gonna do is add a cup of Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna stir that in there. You can see that will just melt in there nicely. And then I'm gonna add a cup and a half of half and half. And mix that into that as well. And that is it, friends. 
so so yummy so easy we will serve this with um, grilled cheese sandwiches my kids asked for that this week so I thought what a great what a great quick meal we've got a lot going on the rest of the week as far as things in the evening and so this is just a recipe that um, is easy for me to make quick and I will actually show you, I'm gonna clean up my mess here and then I'll show you how I store this until supper time. I realize that not every recipe is a crock pot recipe regardless if it is a fast recipe. So what I like to do is just hurry and make the recipe if it's like soup or something like that. And then I will put it in my crock pot and just keep it on warm until, until it's time to eat. So for instance, right now it is one o'clock and we're probably not gonna eat until about 4.30 um, because we have a function to go to tonight so we need to eat a little bit early. But this will just sit here on warm the entire rest of the day until we are ready. Um, I have it set for three hours right now, but I can always adjust it if I need to. But that way I know that the meal is made. Um, even though I couldn't use a crock pot for it, it's made and it's still staying warm and it's gonna be ready right when I need it to be ready. So just a little tip, even if you're not making a crock pot recipe, but you want to make it um, ahead of time, this is just a way to do that and keep it warm until you need it. Do not mind this. <laughs> I'm just too cheap to get a new one. Um, I long ago was following a recipe and it said put tin foil around your um, handles, put it in the oven, blah, blah, blah. I did that and well, just a little diddle. So that is my tip for you. Use your crock pot, even if it's not a crock pot recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you now have one more recipe to add to your list of recipes that are quick, simple, easy, get it on the table, get people fed type of recipes. If you are not following on Instagram, please jump over there and follow us. We have a lot of fun over there. I post pretty much every day. Right now I am posting every day because we do Elf on the Shelf. And so the adventures of Gibby and Libby are over there. This is our eighth year of doing that. Um, and so if you wanna watch along to see what they're doing or get different ideas for your elves, if you do that in your home, then please join us over there. Also, if you guys try anything that I show in these Vlogmas videos, um, any of the porch decor, like I said in um, that video earlier, it's not a Vlogmas video, but I just wanna get kind of some other videos out there as well outside of Vlogmas. Um, if you do any of those things, incorporate any of that into your home, or if you try these recipes, or you know, later this week we're gonna be doing some ornaments and decor and things like that, if you do any of that, tag me on Instagram and I will feature you in my stories. That way everybody else can get inspiration as well because not everybody's home looks like my home. My home doesn't look like everybody else's home. And we can just kind of incorporate little things here and there and make it work for us. That's what this is all about. So sorry for the squirrel but jump over to Instagram and follow us along there. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, I would love it if you would join our intentional community here. We're just trying to find a better way to live life more intentionally, to be able to appreciate the moments that we're in and to not follow along in the hashtag hustle lifestyle. Until next time, friends, I just encourage you to intentionally create a life that you absolutely love living and will not need a vacation from. I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye-bye.